Hi, Ted Harris Harris Puppets. And now it's time for a story. A dark tale guarantees to the scared living daylights of you. Let's begin our story. The story of Halloween Horror. Oh boy, what a night be driving. And Halloween too. Oh, it's creepy. Oh man, what I live give me back at home. Snug and warm. What's up ahead? Ah, gas station. Uh, pardon me. Is this the way to alcohol plantation? Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes it is, but no one's there. I'd advise you to turn back. It's not safe for this weather. Thanks. How to get these buses anyway? Or thought a month ago, people were walking along on a lonely dark road looking for an old manager. Oh, well, what can you do? Last week, we got that letter from receiving an Andy Bell manager. This 20 miles outside of Natchez, Mississippi. So that's where my great mother lived there all her 90 years. Well, it's nine times. Let's see. The was built in 1820. And according to the story to her, I have researched and tragic history. I believe one of my ancestors, a small child, fell to his death in the window of the place. Pretty sure how the story went. The window was never called to fall in the accident. It's kind of weird. I have a child brother to recover from the loss. Nor can't really house again. Years later, she passed away. Her mind of a little girl, ever since the night of the accident. Here she only walked at night, clad in gossip or in the Reading the old words, she said, My baby. Have you seen my baby? What's well, creepy? The legend has a story like this. Don't get any storm or White ghostly form walks around Emma Hall, and she whispers, My baby. Have you seen my baby? Ah, it's silly. Things that only happen in movies. Those who feared the loss of a dime series in the past years. It's funny how these stories get started. Passed out from generation to generation. There's those who would be here in the loss have died before the 25th year. Wait a minute. I'll be 25 till next week. Hey, but be careful, boy. Ha ha ha! The storm will never let up. Lighting. Woo! Huh. Oh. I remember another story. What was it? Wait, what about the doors of the bench? What was it? Uh, her name was Elizabeth. She fell in love with a Yankee lieutenant. And her father found out she went a wall and told her she couldn't see the young lieutenant yet. But we should just stay in room. One day news came. Her lieutenant being killed in war. That was her favorite horse. Wow, what was his name? Um, Dancer. That's right, Dancer. Her dancer in Mississippi. Horse turned to Elm Hole last night. Riderless. Remember, sorry, a week later, there were some boys fishing on a sandbar. Sorry, full of boy. Bodies returned to the plantation and buried in the family cemetery. They see on some rivers are definitely still. You hear a rush wind like right passed by. The spike from the little tree out front. Parts of something that passed through. That's creepy. So I see it's Elizabeth looking for a lover. And let some say it's dancer looking for her. For every day up for the rest of his life. Why a horse will walk down to Mississippi. Wait for, for Elizabeth's return. And walk we'll past Sully's Greek for Elm Hall. What's that up ahead? Oh, yeah, that's the old place, that's Elm Hall. Well, we've got the car, Brian. Go out and have a look around. Look at stairs, it's open. The car's for a while, look at that. Seems to be all laying up there. I don't know, I wanted Things are imagining things. Well, I hope the front door is open. Good, it's not locked. <sighs> God, what's this fresh place? Let's a conk on me. Oh, wow, what a wonderful place. That seems kind of eerie, though. Some kind of living room. Wait a minute, it's a front parlor, that's what I call it. Those are, oh! <coughs> oh, great! <coughs> I thought, mm, I never got on my nose. <coughs> Wait, look at that marble fireplace. This is worth a fortune. What's that? Seems to be a fortune fireplace. It has to be Elizabeth. The world lost her lover in the Civil War. Oh, she's beautiful. Mmm. A pipe organ over there. That's going to be worth a fortune. Wait, another portrait. This is a Confederate journal. What do we this? Oh my. Holy cow. His eyes move. Well, it could move. His eyes look real. But Brian, you gotta hold yourself. Come on. So let me picture the eyes didn't move. I don't know what it did. Oh, it's kind of holy. Come on. Oh, darn it! It was the flashlight. What time to go out? What's that? Is that the wind? What's this? Don't call me. What's your imagination? We're going near 
the Green Yard, I'll start to propel me. Oh, God, something's so. Oh, he'll be. Went right past me. Must be, must be, must have went here. Can't see anything that's so dark. Also, nobody can play the organ. We one here. There's a white, like somebody. Looks like a woman. I think she's wearing a white gown. She's coming this way. She's right at me. She's right at me. She's see me. My baby. Have you seen my baby? My baby. Have you seen my baby? My baby. Have you seen my baby? Oh no, oh no. She just went right through the wall. It's like a dream. This is just a dream, Brian. I don't believe this. It's, oh Lord, what was that? Oh, right here, it's busy. Feels like a coffin. I don't need a coffin. Grandpa's car, please let me grab car, please. What's that? Oh no, that's bad, bad. I can't see it, Mike. Get away from me, get away from me. You're right here, get. Oh, I can't see it, Lord. I can't walk so I can't. Let's put her this way, this way. Yeah. Stop, stop. Went this way, to stop. Where are you? Took a left. Took a right. Oh, give me out of here, give me out of here. Wait, it's the door. It won't open. It's got open. Open, open, please, door open. I grabbed the crap. Oh, thank heavens. It opened. What was that? A horse. I'm getting out before I go mad. Oh, no. The car won't start. Darn it, start. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. I'll just start and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, car. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm never going to the house again. That's it. I got to mold that place. I don't care what I do for it. I got to mold it. I'll take anything. That's the right road. It's gotta be. I don't mean to tell. Let's just tell right now. Yeah, there's the gas station. Oh, good. Well, well, well. Y'all went up the old place after all, huh? All right. Um, did you tell me where to spend the night? Um, hotel, motel? Hotel, now, let's see. Uh, the Deb Stewart's Hotel, all right, place in. That's just right in the street. Yeah, I saw that place before I came to town. Is there any place else? No. That is the only place in town. Well, I took the finest place you have in this part. I know, because I own it. <laughs> oh, boy. Why are they? It's the real estate from this town. You know, we were talking about the Dixon Company. The Dixon Company, and it's the only place in town, and I own that, too. <laughs> that was our story. The story of Halloween Horror. This is your storyteller, Ted Hurts, wishing you Happy Halloween!